Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another Team of the Season player review with me, Boy FIFA 1 HD. We're going to be looking at the incredibly fast 87 rated Bruma card. But before we do, if you do enjoy the video, please hammer the hell out of that like button. Hit the subscribe if you are new to the channel. And if you have any questions on Bruma or FIFA 17 in general, leave all of that in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer each and every one of you. So, looking at his, uh, his mental physical comparison, you can see that he is incredible. I mean, so many stats there on 99 is just ridiculous. Acceleration 99, agility 99, balance 99, and jumping 99. It really doesn't get much better. The only sort of poorer area on this area is definitely his strength. But I never noticed that to be too much of an issue because no one could keep up with him. His ball control and his dribbling are also absolutely spectacular. His finishing is really sound. He's got incredible shot power there at 96. So overall, just a very, very good player in front of goal. To be honest, you can't really say much more. Uh, he's got high medium work rates and four-star weak foot and four-star skills, which is always very nice. And then he comes with the specialities of speedster, dribbler, crosser, acrobat, and the flair trait. So let's get into the main block of the review. So my thoughts on Bruma and his 87 rated team of the season card were just wow. This guy is unreal. I mean, 98 pace is ridiculous. And sometimes you don't notice the difference between like a 90, 91 pace and anything higher. They all just feel fast. But this guy really felt way faster. He was burning people from the halfway line and he just didn't stop he went all the way into the box and scored like it was unreal how easy it was to go past people even quick players like Bellerin Walker he was leaving them for dead he is that fast and it's just so easy to go past people because then you throw in his amazing dribbling his four star skill moves so you've got so many options to beat a man you can just pace him you can skill him you can do whatever you want you can do your little jinx inside this guy will create so many chances for himself and for others it's unreal and he's a great player no matter whether you're on top or whether you're counter-attacking he will get you high up the pitch and he will cause defenders absolute nightmares because he's that good and when he does get the ball he's able to create chances like i said earlier and he is able to finish them because his shooting is very precise. He scored me so many goals. They all went in. Some nice ones, some scuffy ones. It just didn't matter. They all went in. Whether you're shooting from inside or outside the box, he definitely stands at a very, very good chance of scoring. And you will also get an awful lot of chances within the game, which is also very, very good. And well worth paying that money for. Now, his league is a little bit of an off-put for some people. But I don't think it's too hard. There's some, you know, some good players in that league that you can definitely put around him. You've obviously got that Portuguese link where there's some very good Portuguese players at the moment. So easy to get into a squad if you try hard enough. And once you do, you will not be disappointed because he is just so, so good. Like I said, his dribbling is so accurate. It feels like a Hazard or a Neymar, Ronaldo type player where he keeps the ball so close to him. He jinks in and out. He's able to just ride challenges well. And moments where you think he should lose the ball or he shouldn't get through those little gaps, he just does. And it's so easy to dribble with this guy. And then that does make creating chances and getting your team higher up the pitch so much easier. His passing is also very decent. Able to play people in at will, no question at all. Physicality, obviously not the strongest, but his balance and agility are so high that he really can ride those challenges and that does help with his dribbling ability. So overall, just a very, very good card that I would highly recommend if I'm being really honest. It's one that I'm going to be keeping because he's so fun to use. He didn't cost the world, you know, sort of around sort of 60, 65k. For me, I would highly recommend him. That is why I've had to give him 9.5 out of 10 because... Only his league really held him back. Other than that, he is absolutely fantastic and such a special card to use. So I hope you enjoyed the review, guys. If you did, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe, and peace. Peace.